Today's broadcast is brought to you by the character strength, gratitude. Gratitude, appreciation for the benefits we receive from others, and the desire to reciprocate with our own positive actions. On Friday, October 26, our elementary PTO hosted two spooktacular events for students, Trunk or Treat and a Glow Dance. Trunk or Treat took place in the elementary bus loop, where hundreds of pre-K through 5th grade students went trunk to trunk trick or treating. Our greater school community was well represented offering treats from their trunks. This included teachers, parents, volunteer firefighters, Deputy Malcolm and varsity sports teams from the other side of campus. A big Brew Bride shout out to these volunteers. After filling our bags with candy, intermediate students enjoyed a glow dance in the Cracker Box gym. Students were able to dance to jams by Kids Bop while rocking glow in the dance dark gear. It was an awesome time that everyone enjoyed. Many thanks to our Peru Elementary PTO for organizing both events for the end for their support of school. You guys rock! Hi, I'm Vanessa Lawyer, reporting from Mrs. Webb and Mrs. Sacramento's classroom, where they've been using some new technology. This classroom is one of the first in the school district to be one-to-one -one with devices, which in this case means that there is a laptop dedicated for each student in the classroom. Mrs. Webb and Ms. Sacramento are able to cast lesson material to the large display mounted on the wall in the classroom. This exciting technology will be available to many more classrooms in the near future. What is it like to teach in a class where everyone has a device? I think it makes our lives a lot easier because whenever we have a question, we can hop right on the computers and we have all that information right at our fingertips all the time. And do you like to teach from different spots in the room? Why or why not? I love teaching from different spots because that means I get to go around and pick on different kids at all different times. I don't have to stick with one group all the time. I get to move around and be part of all of their lives. Do you find it helpful having all these tools in your classroom and why? Yes, because we can find information way easier. Well, there you have it, folks. A little preview of some of the technology that will be working its way into classrooms rooms around campus in the near future. For From PETV News, I'm Vanessa Lawyer. The Peru Elementary has gone through many upgrades over the past six months. Our newest addition that was recently rolled out to the faculty and staff at Peru Intermediate was the studio. The studio is learning space to create, engage, and energize our students. From a 3D printer to a 3D pens to robotics, VR headsets, breakout EDU kits, Bloxels, Makey Makey, and more. The studio is also the home base for our student-run news station, PETV. We are well into the 21st century, and it is important that our staff and students have access to tools that we be will best prepare us kids for the future. The studio is just that space. Hello, I'm Shannon Edwards, here with your PETV News Sports Report. The Peru wrestling team finished strong at this week's tournament. Ashton Seymour, Logan Dubuque, and Dalton Chris all finished 3-0 for Peru. Two big wins for Peru Saranac hockey this week. A 7-4 win over Lake Placid on Tuesday and a 4-2 win over St. Lawrence on Wednesday. In the NFL, the Giants are hosting the Tennessee Titans on Sunday and the Jets are hosting the Texans on Saturday. In the NBA last night, James Harden had another triple-double racking up 50 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists at the Rockets as the Rockets beat the Lakers 126 to 111.
Pernod Media. This is Isaac Hathaway here today on PETV News to share the weather for this week. As you can see on Friday, we will have quite a normal day, although it is a little rainy, with a high of 40 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. As you can see, the wind is also going to be a southeast wind at around 7 miles per hour. And for our five-day forecast, from Saturday through Monday, you can see that it's on average around high to mid 30s. But on Tuesday, it takes a big drop down to around 20 degrees. But then on Wednesday, it gets back up with sunny at 32 degrees. So as you can see, other than Tuesday, around a solid hot, around a solid 30 degrees, 30 to 40 degrees. So, it's going to be a warm weekend. Oh, what? Tom Messner, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Well, what do you think about the weather this weekend? I think it's going to be pretty nice other than Tuesday. That, sh that Tuesday will be pretty cold. Yeah. What brings you here on TV, t t TV News? I had heard that you guys had your first newscast coming up today, so yeah. I thought that yeah. I would stop by and check it out. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by. Well, it's great to be here. This is really impressive stuff. I, I think your set might be nicer than over Channel 5. I, that makes me a little jealous. Maybe. Um, so how do you do it over at Channel 5? Well, the thing that's interesting about this is watching how you guys set this all up. We do it the same way. You guys are learning to do exactly what we do over there, and you're getting quite a jump on us because <laughs> I didn't start in TV until I was 27 years old. And how old are you now? A lot older than that. <laughs> Oh. Do you want to guess how old I am? 50. That's that's pretty good. I'm 58. <laughs> oh. Is that that funny? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, Sorry. I love the setup you guys have here, and good luck in the future. Uh, this studio is just fantastic. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it has happened again. Another outstanding Prue Pride Assembly, brought to you by our Positive School Environment Team. This month's assembly was on the character strength gratitude and opened up with Big M production set to Sly in the Family Stone. Thank you. Featuring students and staff members sharing their thoughts on gratitude. From there, the assembly continued to rock on with the favorite of students and staff, the Blue Cartman Treatment. Mr. Slattery announces student names in recognition of going above and beyond our three Bs. These students get to walk across the stage to lots of cheers, and they get to sit in our cozy VIP section for the duration of the assembly. After that, Miss Charlene led out our entire school in a mindful moment in which we were able to reflect on something we were thankful for. This was followed by an annual drawing recognition students in our monthly reading to core reading challenge. We were on the main event. The character strength gratitude, Mr. Slattery introduced the strength and what it means. He showed a brief video, the gratitude experiment. This video explained the science behind gratitude and how applying it can strengthen relationships, improving health, reduce stress, and, in general, make us happier. Next, it was time for our student leaders, Mrs. Catton and Mrs. Kenny's fifth graders, to show us how they have used the strength of gratitude around our school. Wow, did you see that? These fifth graders interviewed students during the lunchtime to find out what they appreciate in our facu faculty and staff, and then surprise them at the assembly. Well done, students. A big Prue Pride shout out to you f for your teaching us about the character strength of gratitude through action. Our assembly concluded with the announcement of our annual Fill the Bus food drive, followed by Little Jock Jams, recognition for students earning character strengths tags. Check it out. Students dance and cheer to the music in celebration of their accomplishments. Wow, what a sensational assembly for students and staff. From all of us at BETV and Prairie Media, we sincerely thank you for support of our school and community. Best wishes to you and your family during this holiday season. I'm Jordan Osborne for all of you, us at PETV News. Thank you for watching. Remember to stay blue with Prue Pride and have a great weekend.